I am so proud to know our current mayor and our next mayor for the, for the next four years, Mayor White has with me eight years ago. It's a true story. I saw her in a bar called Sharky's and I told her I was going to be mayor. And she said, there's no way you'll ever win. And she was there on election day. But let me say something from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. When I look out at this room and I see my friends, my families, my supporters, people I never knew who volunteered on my campaign, I can't tell you how good it makes me feel to know that you're all here and you have my back. This election may be more important than the one we had before. You know, we've come a long way over the last four years. We finally got the city's financial house in order. We were able to pass four budgets without raising the tax rate. We've been, we've been being able to create jobs and have job fairs, an opportunity for people to come forward. We've led the way on the environment in the state of Maryland. We've got the League of Conservation Veterans endorsement. We put a million dollars in the stormwater fund, and we're building an energy park with 55,000 solar panels, that's the largest in the country. When the voters elected me four years ago, they voted for change. They voted for an agent of change that would make a difference. And that's what I've done, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. I view my candidacy growing up here. I'm looking at my mom and dad, and i got to give them a thank you because I know they wouldn't win. Thinking about my yaya and papu, that grandmother and grandfather, know how proud they would be if they were still alive to, to see their son. As I said, this election is about the future. We have got some amazing things planned going forward. What we're going to do for the environment, how we're going to connect everybody for jobs and opportunity. We launch a second chance job fair to give people who had a prior conviction a chance to get another job. We've worked to have um, jobs come in all over from Maryland Live, the cybersecurity jobs. We're reaching out to every community. We're knocking doors in public housing. We're knocking doors in the affluent areas because we're all in this boat together. We're all Annapolitans. We've made transformations on the housing authority. People said you can never get that under control. We've turned over that board. We've inspected the units to give people the same quality of life. Because if they lived in another neighborhood, they would demand the same services. This election is about everybody. We've got a bold and robust vision for the future, and I need your help. I'm going to say something about my opponents. Uh, first, Nevin Young. I'm going to say he's an honorable man for running. Anybody who's running elections know it's not easy to put yourself out there and have the media beat you up on a day-to-day -day basis. I think we should give a round of applause for participating. I also want to thank Senator Astle, and I'll tell a personal story on this. I've known Senator Astle since I was 16 years old. Many people don't know, he actually spoke in my Eagle Scout Court of Honor. <laughs> and I was given an Eagle Scout Court of Honor, and I looked out in the crowd and said, one of these guys is going to come for me one day, so I need to be careful. But no, he's done a lot for this city over the last 30 years. He's gotten money, he's fought for education, for health care, so we should give him a round of applause for his 30 years of service. The challenges that face this city and the difference between Gavin Buckley, who I know well, I had lunch with him the other week, are completely different. We have completely different visions for what this city is going to be and how we're going to move it forward. While I like and respect Gavin Buckley, we can't afford to go backwards. We can't afford to change and lose all the positive momentum we've gone forward. And a lot of people said, you won the general tonight because Gavin won. Now, let me tell you something, that's not the case. I've seen something happen that I haven't seen in a long time. This country and this city, people bet on underdogs. You know, if you would have said, Mike Pandeliti is going to be mayor. Larry Hogan's going to be governor. Barack Obama's going to be president. When they started, they were 1,001 odds, but it happened. So we can't underestimate Gavin Buckley and the people that are coming out. But if we think about the future and why we're running, we're running for every person that lives in the city to have safe, decent housing. We're working for jobs and opportunity. We're working because there's people out there every day that are struggling to make payroll. It's not just 
we didn't raise taxes because it's our philosophy. It's because people's bg and &E bills are going up, their cable bills going up, groceries are going up, a gallon of milk, a gallon of gas. People can't afford to pay more, and they need a government that lives within their means. And that's what we've done. Thank you, God bless you for coming out, and Dean's going to do the close on what we need because everything from a bumper sticker, a yard sign, emailing your friends, social media, it's going to take everything we've got knocking doors to do this, but I'm confident because we had a vision last time. People didn't believe in us when we proved them wrong, but we're going to prove them wrong again. Thank you all so much. Oh,